Hey, what's up guys and how's it going? My name is Funky D Regs and welcome to The Children of Clay. The Children of Clay is a free short Ichio Nihara game that I got off with Ichio Hard Tech. You guys want to check it out? I'll leave a link in the description. Go and check it out. So I have no idea what this game is about. I guess I could go to the Ichio store page like I usually do. The Children of Clay is a short stop motion archaeology horror game where you have to study an ancient artifact and discover its dark secret. So that sounds pretty fun. Uh, that's all it says right here. It just says some features and some credits. I don't care about all that. Let's go ahead and hop into the Children of Clay. The name is Artifact uh nr297 site kurgan okay okay so it is a point and click so you know you got to click around the whole screen to see exactly if there's anything that you need to uh, interact with so i clicked on this it says the f this feature resembles a human face okay search for i don't know Let's turn it. What is that? Looks like a metal object embedded in an artifact. It doesn't seem like it is possible to extract it. Maybe I can find out what kind of metal it is. How do you do that? How do you do that? Wait, do you just? So you just gotta look around for it and everything. Look at that. It's so weird. I like it though. Curious, this feature resembles a tail. Can I turn you around real quick? What else is there about you? The face. What about it? Search for, I don't know what I need to search for though. Huh, I only see this and this thing right here too i don't see anything else um metal object let's just search for that see what we can get i cannot find anything relevant okay face i cannot find anything relevant so what do you need to search to get information about this Oh, wait, I see some writing down here. Seem to be some sort of runes, but I don't recognize the type. Maybe I can find something in my books. Rune? Uh, let's do rune then. Ooh! Oh, snap. The old Hungarian script, or Hungarian runes, is an alphabetic writing system used for writing the Hungarian language. After the establishment of the Christian Hungarian kingdom, the old writing system was partly forced out of use by the rule of King Stefan and the Latin alphabet was adopted. However, among some professionals, examples, shepherds who use a rova stick, whatever that is, uh, to officially track the number of animals, the script has remained in use. Old Hungarian letters were usually written from right to left. So we see some runes right here. If we go back, we can use that thing at the bottom right to do that. I could translate those runes with the chart. Okay, cool. So we have this symbol right here. Um, that's G. But remember, it's right to left. So one second. Let me do some. Let me go to my notepad real quick. This requires things to do. Okay. So we have that one, which is G. We got N. Good night so far. U. T. Which is I. No. D. H. Which is. That's just a regular ass H, right? The only thing that I see is this thing right here, R, which we'll check and see if that's the right one. We'll put R and then D or that one, which is that is U. 
So if it's going from right to left, so that would mean that we would need to type in ER, I mean, URD, URD, U, and G. <laughs> You're dung. <laughs> You're dung. So we got it. An old Hungarian is a shape shifting demonic creature from Hungarian mythology and early Hungarian paganism who controls the dark and evil forces of the world. After Christianization, Christianization, it was identified with the devil. One surviving folk tale about Yerdung <laughs> still gets me involves one of the spawns of Yerdung arriving to Earth and the shaman of the village consulting the spirits to learn how to trap the creature. Oh, it's got blood ex extruding from its eyeballs. Interesting. Some sort of dark liquid is flowing out of the holes. What is it? Are there more writing? Nah. Still the same. The dark liquid loosened the, the metal object. What is that? Is it breaking? The face broke. Exempt from the newspaper article titled The Children of Clay, just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist and the incident involving a broken artifact, the team working on the remote site in the Urals has made an astonishing discovery. A previously unknown underground chamber containing a dozen similar small clay figures have been discovered. They are already in contact with several universities across the globe to further study them. Okay, so if you click, it just automatically goes away. So, er earlier I had clicked and I thought, you know, it was going too fast, but that's not the case. So, that was Children of the Clay. I did say it was short, seven minutes, <laughs> nearly eight. I thought it was actually pretty interesting. I actually enjoyed, like, point and click. Because, like, I don't really play many point and click horror games. So, this right here, I guess for the first time in a while, was actually kind of, kind of cool. I think the last... Uh, point and click hard game I played was Frambo, so yeah. Anyway, back to Children of the Clay. Um, I did really like the way how it was like claymation and everything and like stop motion. You know, from what I got, if they were to make a full game of this, the lore is actually low key kind of crazy because, like, you got Hungarian, you got your dung. I don't know anything about it, but it's kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm done yapping. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me go. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section. I need to stop doing that. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the Children of Clay in the comment section. Uh, and yeah, so guess I'll see you guys in the next video. It's kind of a short video.